at 49 minutes after the hour. We've been talking with Dr. Jeff Chanton, professor of oceanography at Florida State University, about a study uh, that they did about what potentially millions of gallons of oil sediment left at the Gulf uh, floor after the Gulf oil spill. Now we reached out to BP and they say uh, that his calculations or their calculations at FSU are flawed. They told us instead of using rigorous chemical analysis to identify oil sediments, the authors used a tracer common to all sources of oil, including oil from the Gulf's numerous natural seeps. So Dr. Chanton, it is true that you can trace oil from wherever it comes using these tracers. So what's your response to what BP had to say this morning? Well. The radiocarbon approach, when, well, let me just start. When the, when the oil comes out of the seafloor and goes up to the surface and then it comes back down again, it's altered by that process. It's exposed to photochemistry and it's exposed to uh, biochemistry through microbial degradation. Mm -hmm. And it's even possible that some of that oil could be incorporated into microbial tissue. Okay. And so with the radiocarbon approach, you get all of it. So their oil is transformed when it's in the environment. It could be oxidized, it could be incorporated into biomass. And so this approach gets all of it. And it's true, there's a lot of natural seepage in the Gulf, but during the oil spill, the, the rate of oil coming out of that one oil fountain, if you will, was 20 times the rate of natural seepage in the yes, Gulf. Sir. So, that is true. You're absolutely right. And so in basically to kind of wrap up what you were saying there yeah. is that oil, even though it can be tagged to different sources, once it's a, uh, kind of brought to the elements, it changes its composition. So in order to get a count of the oil, you looked at all of the oil that was underneath, kind of understanding how much was there from natural seepage and how much was probably involved in the oil spill. Did I get you right with that kind of quick encapsulation? Of course, it's in the literature that the oil is transformed and it's it becomes no longer gc amenable yeah and what that means is you can't run it on a gc anymore it turns into a big giant peak they call humptane all right but and the isotope approach you get it Right, I just just to kind of make it, you know, in plain speak, but thank you, sir. I appreciate your efforts, I truly do, and I hope we were able to talk a little bit about it in a way that the entire audience can understand exactly what your research was about. Jim, uh, thank you again, sir, for joining us this morning. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on with those next winter storms.